Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to uh, SeansArt.com. I'm an artist here in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I'll be painting um, country music legend, thank you, Barbara Mandrell. <clears throat> she uh, has a, a log cabin here in Nashville that is um, called the Fontanelle, um, and it's like the oldest and largest log cabin in the United States, I believe. Not, I shouldn't say oldest, I should say largest, but sorry, this is a little bit... I have my... my uh, <clears throat> my phone in in a wine glass so bear with me there I'm trying to make sure that I get it where you guys can see everything thank you for the hearts that's so appreciate it I'll be checking back in periodically um, so you guys can kind of see how it's going welcome everybody welcome hi Skip Delman welcome hi the Scott Kendall thanks for joining I appreciate it I'll check right back though give me one second <clears throat> She was um, a huge, huge, huge hit in the 70s. She and her beautiful sisters, the Mandrell sisters, there's Barbara, there's Erlene, and there's Louise. All three are amazing uh, artists. And they um, had a variety hour television show also that was on during like the Donnie Marie days and the Brady Bunch variety hours. Anyway, this painting is going to be going into uh, the Fontanelle. Uh, they have a compound in Whites Creek, Tennessee, which is about 20 miles north um, from where I live. It's about 15 miles north of Nashville. <clears throat> but this one's going to go on display there for people that come into the gift shop to see and, and that take the tour of her log cabin, the Fontanelle. So it's going to be really fun. So pardon me one second. Let's see how she's going to look. And I'm sorry the phone is so far away. I have to be able to step back because of black and white being a, a perspective issue. And I have the phone in a wine glass actually on an aquarium. So <laughs> I don't have a table close by in this area. But um, it helps me to be able to step back and get a whole, I guess you'd say, perspective, a bird's eye view of how it goes. So um, hopefully you can see it kind of come together in a couple minutes. I won't do the whole thing live because I don't want to take up all of your time. I'm just kind of giving you like a head start of what she's going to look like. Um, let me see what she I'm going to say hi to you guys and see what's going on over here. Yeah, you can see her kind of coming together. It's a little blurry there, doesn't it? Goodness, I'm sorry about that. But anyway. Welcome, Steve PST. Welcome. just want to say I'm painting Barbara Mandrell today in the uh, studio. And hopefully she'll start taking shape in a few minutes. You can kind of see her come together. Um, I'm trying to see if it's a better view. There we go. Maybe that. So sorry, you guys. I don't. There, and that's better. Hi, hi, Steve. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I have my phone in a uh, in a wine glass, so bear with me there. It's. Uh, I'm trying to find the best way you can kind of see her come together. So sorry, you guys. Good, good, good. Welcome. Um, Oh man, okay, I'm just gonna do it, let it be natural and let it kind of find its own world. Okay, there we go, that's good there. Again, bear with me, you can kind of see her come together um, as I progress, but if I don't spend a lot of time focusing on her eyes and everything, to me that's the most important part of the painting, is getting her personality uh, through her eyes. Welcome uh, RLS42, so I'll be right back, so I'll step back and forth, so give me one moment. Yeah, I'm using oil enamel so it gets a little sinus <clears throat> drainage from it because you're smelling oil a lot. So if you hear me <clears throat> clear my throat and all, forgive me there because it's just a part of, of dealing with that type of paint. But the beautiful thing is the enamel in it helps it dry a lot faster than just being regular oils. So that way um, I can progress a lot quicker during the painting instead of having to wait, you know, like a week or so for it to. Uh, to be more pliable and also dry to the touch. So <clears throat> I do portraits a lot 
I also do a lot of color work. I'm an artist in Nashville. My name is Sean Hudspeth, and I do a lot of abstract work, a lot of emotion as far as colors are considered. I do a lot of um, high impact portraiture. And people think it's all about just celebrities, but I think every human is a celebrity. <laughs> We're all celebrities to somebody, right? So I don't limit it to just that. But people, when they ask me, I say, of course I always paint celebrities because to your mom, you're a celebrity, you know? So, <laughs> so let's see if she does not make a little more sense. And the cool thing about black and white is you don't have to be ex as exact. It's more about what the ima imagination and what you leave out that makes the eye interested. So I'm going to see what she looks like a little bit closer back. Can you guys think about it? Can you kind of see her eyes there a little bit? Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Yeah. And if you're familiar with her, she's such a beautiful, beautiful lady. She and her, both of her sisters are beautiful. So I want to do my best to honor that since they're going to be on display. What's up, Sean? Oh, hey, Oleander. How you doing, man? Good to see you. <laughs> I was in your scope, I think, yesterday or so. Thank you so, so much. I so appreciate it. And thanks for the shout out yesterday. I really appreciate that, man. Um, I just wanted to kind of spend some, a few minutes with everybody today. Thank you for those hearts and kind of give everybody a, a bird's eye view into my world. Um, I'm painting Barbara and hoping that she kind of takes shape in a few minutes. Again, I won't keep the, the, uh, the whole drawing on. I don't want the phone to, to die down and the battery to die down. But I want to give you a beginning eye view and let you see how she's coming together, and then I'll probably scope again after I finish, or hopefully by this afternoon. So, so good to see you. Hi, Tim Watson. Welcome. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that, man. It means it means a lot. It really does, and I appreciate your support. Thank you guys for the hearts. Hi, Tim. Thank you for the hearts, man. I appreciate you guys. But I'm going to step right back and kind of get her her lips and everything done, and then kind of work on the hair. But I, it won't take as long. But I just have to make sure I don't get too distracted because you know portraits are a little bit more highly detailed. So. Hi, Javi Roll. Welcome, welcome. Just bear with me. I'll be right back. Thanks again for the support, you guys. Apologize for my appearance too. I have to wear these rags so they don't get messed up and dirty in my hair. I get hair in the painting a lot, so having to pull back is the only way I can do this. So forgive my appearance, but thanks for being here with me. I think I want her to be more of a focus than me anyway. So I um, just want to let you know that I'm aware that I don't look my best right now, but it's all right. Once I get her, her facial structure done, I can then focus more on, you know, the hair and the, um, the kind of the dramatic effects of it all. But I'm hoping you can kind of see her come together here. She's such a, an iconic and beautiful lady and a talented, wonderful uh, singer who's made such a, a wonderful forging of the way in the country music world. She and Dolly Parton are really great friends too. And I don't know if you were here, um, some of my previous casts or scopes, I painted Dolly. Um, and it, she's also going to be on display at the Fontenelle area as well. So, let's see what we think here. Yeah, it's looking more like her. Can you tell what she looks like there? You see it? Does that look a little bit more like her to you guys? It was a little blurry there, but... Anyway, I'm going to a little bit more. The cool thing is that once you get the face done, the, ma the major shape of the face, you can then kind of like be a little bit more forgiving around the area of their hair and all. So I'm just going to kind of do a few little shapes to kind of give it more of a, a form so you guys can kind of see how she might come together. And again, with black and white, you only have these two colors, 
So it's important not to get too, too detailed because it can get kind of um, uneasy with the eyes and, and lack of uh, peaceful and transition. So it's about what you don't add that makes it more interesting. Welcome everybody, welcome. Just painting Barbara Mandrell in the, in the studio today. And she's a beautiful country music singer, legendary icon who's made such an impact. When I first moved here um, in Nashville back in the, I guess it was late 80s, <laughs> yeah, I was probably four, uh, they had actually a Barbara Mandrell um, country, it was like a, a tourist area where you could do karaoke and you could record your own songs and all. And she was way ahead of her time when it came to innovation. You could take the songs with you home. It was really a, a fantastic, uh, and it was one of, kind of one of those la legendary landmarks that put Nashville on the map. And it was downtown in the area, so it made it really exciting. People could sing and they would be able to record their track and take it with them. And it was kind of like keeping a piece of Nashville with them, you know? So that's gonna be part of her hair. But what I'll do is I'm gonna check back out and let you know as it, as it progresses and see how, it, how she comes together, okay? Again, thank you guys for being here and I really, really appreciate it. And I'll check back in in a couple minutes, okay? Thanks a lot.